Hello viewers, welcome back to YouTube channel of Sri Swaminarayan Physiotherapy College, Tanis, Ahmedabad. Dr. Tara Vakila, I am amputee in rehabilitation, working as a senior lecturer at Sri Swaminarayan Physiotherapy College, Ahmedabad. Here I am going to present about the ankle foot orthosis. So metal ankle foot orthosis. So ankle foot orthosis is a boot to which an ankle joint is fixed through the stirrup. There are metal uprights are ascending up to the calf. The components are the proximal calf pad with the leather straps. Medial and lateral bars articulating with the medial and lateral ankle joints help in control of the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. Stirrups anchor the uprights to the shoes. Other modifications in the shoe like medial and lateral support can also be prescribed for the AFO concomitantly in any condition if needed. So here you can see in the image there is a ankle foot orthosis that is made up of metal. This is calf band. This is lateral and medial uprights. This is ankle joint. This is T strap. This is stirrup. Now different types of ankle joint that is provided in A4. So that will be according to the muscle power controlling the ankle which is preserved in the patient. So total 5 different types of A4 are available with different ankle joint. So first is the free ankle that given when there is a normal ankle muscle power. Second is the limited ankle joint that is prescribed when ankle is totally flat like in flaccidity. So in that only 15 degrees or 20 degrees around ankle joint is provided in plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So that is limited ankle joint in A4. Now 90 degrees foot drop stop. That is recommended when there is a foot drop. Thus it does not allow the plantar flexion. It is recommended when there is a foot drop, when there is a dorsiflexes are weak and plantar flexes are normal. Another condition is when the dorsiflexions are normal or near normal and plantar flexes are spastic. Reverse 90 degrees ankle joint. So that is not commonly used because very that is very rare condition in which we are using it so that allows the plantar flexion but stop short at the neutral position that around the 90 degrees of ankle joint thus it does not allow the dorsiflexion and is prescribed to prevent the calcaneus deformity it happens when the plantar flexors are weak while dorsiflexors are normal Fixed ankle joint that protects the foot when there is need to take the weight of the foot as in the fracture of calcaneum. Indications of AFO so that is prescribed when muscle weakness affecting the ankle joint or subtalar joint. Prevention or correction of the deformities like varus or varicose deformity. Reduction of the inappropriate weight bearing forces. Another condition is used when the dorsiflexion muscles are paralyzed. So that is to prevent the contracture of Achilles tendon and to assist the dorsiflexion during the heel strike. The dorsiflexors assist the plast uh, plastic posterior leaf spring A4 that can be prescribed in, and that can be used with the different type of shoes. The rationale for this option is that the spring prevents the foot from dragging during the swing phase and permits only slight plantar flexion during the early stance, thereby enabling the client to achieve a foot flat position without an more knee flexion. 
ankle and foot muscle paralysis so this is prescribed to prevent the stability and to reduce the gait deviation during the swing and stance phase the polypropylene solid ankle a4 to be worn with the shoe that prevents the ankle dorsiflexion during the mid stance another option you can prescribe is a hinged a4 adjustable hinges enable the clinician to alter the range of ankle excursion so you can change the motion available at the ankle joint the limited ankle joint prescribed quite often and permits the ankle movement about the small range that usually 10 to 15 degrees of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion third option is to prescribe the mid Uh, metal or leather afo with the adjustable ankle joint for the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion and the corrective steps for the varus or valgus deformity spasticity so uh, that you that you may have seen in many conditions in children with the cerebral palsy so afo are used in the children with cerebral palsy to stabilize the foot during the heel strike and foot flat phase The polypropylene orthosis given as a shoe insert prevents the plantar flexion and also the dragging of the toes during the swing phase. If neglected, the foot will go in for the equinus contracture and may require the surgery or may require the botox injection. Limited weight bearing. So this is a rare condition for the A4 to reduce the loading on the leg and foot in the condition where the foot needed to be protected. There is a socket at the patellar tendon bearing area which has the weight relieving brim similar to the Peyronie prosthesis. The heel of the foot does not come in contact with the inner sole and a window is provided for a figure. fingers to be introduced and confirmed so this was about the ankle foot arthrosis thank you for watching please like share and subscribe our youtube channel